Karen Scott was a mother of three girls, Monica, Latrice, and Jeanette. They lived in Chicago, but decided to make the move to Milwaukee, Wisconsin, to improve the children's opportunities. The girls were very close and quickly fit into their new neighborhood and were well liked in school. But unfortunately, at this time, the city of Milwaukee was experiencing an increase in violent homicides, in particular crimes against children. And unfortunately for the Scott family, things were about to get worse. One Friday night, Karen Scott went out to the DeVille Tavern, leaving her children with a babysitter. At 11 p.m., she called and confirmed that her daughters were asleep. She returned home at 3 a.m., but when she opened the door, she found her two daughters, Latrice and Monica, laying in a pool of blood. Their throats had been slashed. Monica had been found in the pantry, and there were signs that she had been sexually assaulted. There were also defensive wounds on her hands, suggesting a struggle. Thankfully, 11-month-old Jeanette was unharmed. Police arrived at the scene, and the person responsible for the girls' murders was quickly apprehended. It was John Falls, a 33-year-old man. At first, newspapers referred to him as the children's babysitter, but later it was confirmed that he was actually Karen's boyfriend. He had been in charge of babysitting the girls when Karen went out. After hours of questioning him, he confessed. He indicated to detectives that um, he didn't remember uh, hurting the girls, um, but if police were saying he did it or other people were saying he did it, then he must have done it. He was charged with two counts of first-degree homicide and one count of first-degree sexual assault. But later, investigators began to find inconsistencies in the case. For instance, a hair they found on Monica's body didn't belong to Falls. Also, John recanted his original confession to police, saying that he only confessed because he didn't remember what had happened. And after further questioning, Karen finally admitted that John wasn't actually babysitting the children that night. He was with her at the DeVille Tavern. The three children were left alone that night. With this new information, John Falls was released after spending two years in jail. It's unclear why Karen lied to investigators, but the case eventually ran cold. It was announced that investigators had received some interesting information from an informant regarding Monica and Latrice's murders. According to this informant, there was another detail missing from Karen Scott's story regarding the night she and her boyfriend John Falls went out. Before Karen and John went to the DeVille Tavern, they were met by one of Karen's friends and her boyfriend. That couple had met at Karen's home. Allegedly, the boyfriend had an argument with 11-year-old Monica. And later that night, this man and John Falls left the tavern early, before Karen and her girlfriend did. John Falls presumably went to his mom's house, but witnesses spotted the other man walking in the direction of Karen Scott's home. The identity of this man has not yet been revealed. Here is what we do know about this unnamed person of interest. He's serving jail time in Wisconsin for other crimes relating to children. Crimes that detective note are very similar to what happened to Latrice and Monica Scott. In his interrogation with police, he mentioned that his blood could have been in the Scott home due to accidentally cutting himself with a knife a story that the police believe is a lie. That was potentially a manufactured fact that the suspect came up with during the interview to fit the facts of the case or what he believed were the facts of the case. But despite all of this, there has not yet been enough evidence to charge him with the murders of the Scott girls. Investigators urge that anyone with information on the murders of Latrice and Monica Scott, please come forward.